and I'm Lauren and today we are at Green Lawn Cemetery which is a historic cemetery in Ooh. Columbus Ohio Ooh. Hear, what we're doing I hear there's hundred and fifty five thousand graves here yes uh. on 300 acres uh. and we're going on a cemetery tour a haunted cemetery tour. Ooh. so we'll see if little miss thing picks up another ghost tonight fingers crossed Woo. All right, well, here goes nothing. Yep, let's go. Okay, so um, we're home now from the Green Lawn uh, Haunted Cemetery Tour and um, I took a really long hot shower to try to warm up um, and I'm still not warm so that's why we're sitting in front of the fire. <laughs> yeah, I put my onesie on because it's the thickest thing that I have besides a winter coat. I, th I thought about re-putting my hat on because I'm still so cold. I mean the tour was really great, don't, yes. don't get us wrong and we'll tell you in just a minute but it was 34 degrees and Drizzling. raining. Yes. Yeah. And so it was a two and a half hour outdoor tour and you prepared better than I did. I, I wore two pairs of leggings and then a pair of jeans and then I wore five layers on top plus yeah. scarf, gloves and hat. I just wore jeans and boots and a t-shirt and a sweatshirt and a winter coat and that was 100% not enough. Uh, you were jittering on the wall. I know my thighs are still, the tops yes. of my thighs yes. are still frozen and, and I took a hot shower. It's like you can feel your bones in your hands, yeah. like that kind of cold. And yesterday it was like 68 <laughs> degrees and freaking beautiful and then like today it's rainy and cold. And the tour guide was like, sorry that we have like this, this weather and I'm just like, you got, you're, you're not in an okay place. Like you're going to be yeah. cold. I know. Yeah. 
And the, it's funny too, because he did point out that it's 100% perfect weather for a haunted cemetery tour, and it really was. I agree. It was. I do agree. It, it was. It was definitely creepy and cold, and with the leaves falling when the breeze and the breeze blew a lot. That was fun. It could have been Ooh. like a Shutter movie, like where mm -hmm. it's just like, where's the killer gonna come? Like only one person yeah. will escape the graveyard tonight. <laughs> Who's gonna be the final girl? Yes. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. No, it was cold is an understatement. Yes. Yeah. Um, so it, like, like we said, two and a half hours yeah. long. I don't remember how much I paid for it because I'm so cold. Um, I think you, it was 40 a person. I, it, yes, I believe. Yeah, I think it was. it was about $40 per person. And since the haunted Buxton hotel thing was $20 per person for an hour, it, it levels roughly $20 an hour seems to be the running ghost rate. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? I'm down. Yeah. Yeah. So what'd you think of the tour? I loved it. I loved hearing like, so what I do in my spare time is I listen to like true crime podcasts or like murder mysteries or like unsolved mysteries. Like that's like my niche of things that I like to listen to when I'm doing like housework and stuff. Mm -hmm. And all of his stories were just right on par with like what I love to listen to. Um, he was a little uh, theatrical yeah, with he, his he storytelling. Was, he was, yeah. Yeah, yeah see? Yeah, yeah. that's really me. Yeah. <laughs> but he also had a Bucky, our tour yes. guide, uh, was, he had a staff. It, like a walking cane a walking or cane, something, yeah. But he used it any time yeah, that theatrical. he was able to do it. And I, I was eating it up. I was, mm -hmm. I, we got back in the car afterwards and I was like, I could have listened to him like around a campfire for like another hour and a half. I would have like loved the tour. I had yes. no complaints if the weather had not been as crappy as it had been. Yeah. Like, my complaint about the tour was just 100% weather related because yeah. I'm a delicate flower. But well, it got to the point with the. We'll move off of the weather. Yes, but we, with the my, weather. my last little pin in my notes is. I would have been able to pay attention more in the last like 20 minutes because I eventually got cold. And then I was like, oh my God, cameraman's cold. You're cold. I'm cold. I was like, if I'm having a hard time paying attention, I can only imagine. Hi, Coco. Coco, you weren't cold because you were here the whole time. <laughs> you this were is, here the whole this time. This is Coco. She's our assistant manager here on the channel. <laughs> um, yeah, go away. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. So we'll stop talking about the weather. Yes, yeah. But it was, it, I loved all the stories. I loved that there was no embellishing. I loved that it had historical ties to the area. Um, it actually made me realize I have not explored enough of Columbus. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not from the area. Right. So I was like, I don't know what roads you're talking about, but I am invested in your story. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we learned a lot about uh, the Especially history. Especially that one bridge that people yes. kept falling off of. I don't even know what bridge that is. Well, no, I, I, and it's the last of its kind, he right. said. Yeah. Is it the Broad Street Bridge? Is that I believe so, yeah. Something like that. I yeah. think that's what it was. Yeah. But uh, he said, he was talking about how like when it was first made, how they had no lighting on the bridge and how there was like one lantern at one end and one lantern at the other. And then people fell off people all the were time. People falling off or sometimes people would like walk up with their hoods like this and they would like be trying to like go against the wind. And that's how a lot of like, not wives tales, but like a lot of uh, urban legends urban myth, yeah. uh, about like headless men being on the bridge and kids would go on the bridge back in the, early i don't even know it felt like 1860s yeah. but everything seems like 1860s on every tour that we do i don't know maybe nothing exciting it happened, happened afterwards or before in ohio after like 1910 but uh, the fact that there was like a headless man story there were there was an axe murder yes, story an axe murder story there, there were was some naughty doctor. sexy stories Lots of, well uh, two there was a there a, were a few there was a, a lady lover naughty story mm -hmm. which was fun about like a like star Star-crossed lovers, and then all of a sudden. Well, they... I don't know if that was Star-crossed. Well, well the, one of them the was. One of the them other was. one was not no. so much. No. But the the evil doctor mm -hmm. who, who. Right. Oh man, we don't want to give it away. We don't want to give it away. Definitely recommend. Mm -hmm. Definitely yes. recommend. And it was a 21 and up tour because yes. there were definitely adult themes discussed. And yes. Um, it got gorier and sexier as, as the evening <laughs> progressed. He even said, um, I didn't bring you into the <laughs> into this uh, cemetery to talk about explicit things because that's not my king. I and know. I laughed my butt off because I was like, line. haha, very funny. And then he proceeded to tell the story. So, yes. yeah. No, he was great. I, I loved his energy. I loved everything about him. Mm -hmm. My kind of people, like, I'm sure when he's like at a bar somewhere with his friends, he's like, you know, this place has a story. I and bet. A ghost story. Yeah. Yes. 
And then um, he also uh, recently authored a book. Yes, on, yeah. Uh, I believe Haunted Cemeteries in Ohio. Yep. And I believe his author name is E.L. Cutright. So if you Google uh, Haunted Cemeteries of uh, Ohio and Cutright, it's an Amazon book. We didn't buy it because he was giving signed copies, not giving, he, he was, was selling, selling signed <laughs> copies. Um, after the tour, but we were so freaking cold. We literally jumped in the car and <laughs> turned we, on the seat warmer, was, blasted the heat, like get home, let's gotta get home. We were all like, okay, make sure the windows are rolled up. Where's the GPS? How do we get home? Tell us how to get home. Ah. I'm, my fingers are still like they're turning red. I know. Like, get all the blood's finally rushing to my toes and my fingers. I know. I'm gonna have to have some like hot, hot milk chocolate, or hot yeah. chocolate or something before I go to bed, oh, just yeah. like to get all the warmth going. Um, but it was great, and he was so knowledgeable. And my goodness, that was the biggest cemetery oh I my think God. I've ever seen. Ever. Well, and in the state of Ohio, and I'm sure other states, it's illegal for you to be in a cemetery after dark. Mm -hmm. So the fact that he said, what, for 10 years they've been doing it? Mm -hmm. Something like that? And he gives a portion of the um, ticket price back to, to the, the cemetery. cemetery for upkeep and stuff. And he knew all the security guards. Yes, yeah. he, he kept saying, he was like, um, so this is the first time that they've ever let us do this type of cemetery walk. So we've had other people like vandals and people trying to do graffiti and stuff like that or like tarnish the He did mention stones. there was a machete wielding maniac uh, last uh, week, but maybe that was just part of the spook factor. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But he said that they've had people that have gone into the cemetery after the gates closed because once it's sunset, you can't go back in right. and they've had people get lost in the cemetery because of how big it is. Mm -hmm. Like each marker, like each area was marked as an island, which I noted, I don't know if you saw that. Yes. And we went from island six to 86. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I would, if I did not have this man with us, right. I would be lost. Well, like, within 20 minutes, I was like, I don't even know where we are yeah. in relation to the car anymore. No, no. And once we got to the end, <laughs> I was like, car. Like I, we saw the cars in the distance and I was like, thank God we did not get lost. Not that I don't trust this man, but, but yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, let's talk about the crazy thing. You saw a ghost. I know. I did see a ghost. We were standing on the bridge, not the, not the Broad Street Bridge, but right. the bridge that is one of the other of the last of its kind right. that's in the cemetery and it, it bridges between um, older graves to newer graves and then there's like some sprinkled throughout there and he was standing on the bridge and telling us a story about how first a security guard had been driving over the bridge and he had seen somebody jump off the bridge and got spooked and then realized like got out of his car headlight like flashlight looked over the bridge and there was nobody there mm -hmm. later found out from him and other people that apparently there was a woman there years and years and years ago who had hung herself mm -hmm. and committed suicide and so that's why the bridge is haunted and while he's telling us this story it's it's twilight what they call it the perfect time for you to see ghosts it's where like the veil unfolds right, itself right. and the bridge between dawn and dusk dawn yes. and dusk it's it's either of those times where the veil is Open, parted, parted, yeah. The, the door is ajar, the gate's it's ajar. ajar. Yeah, Some, the gate's ajar. He mentioned something being ajar. But it's where people that have passed away can come through the threshold and they can be seen by us. And as I'm looking at him, I'm like, wow, it's really cold on this bridge. Wow, I have a fear of heights and I'm on a bridge. And I'm looking at him and my eyes look over to his, over his shoulder and I swear to you, I saw somebody standing like right in front of a stone, hunched over like this, like one of the tallest people I've ever seen in my life. Big broad shoulders. It was like a like a salmon colored shirt. It looked like it, it was just so weird. And I was like, my eyes are playing tricks on me. My eyes are playing tricks on me. And like I looked over to the cameraman and I looked over at April and I was like, OK, yeah, I saw nothing. And then I looked back at the tour guide and I was like, keep pay attention to the story. He's almost done. And then I could not stop like looking past him and looking over his shoulder. And then when we walked over there, I literally was to the point where I was shaking because I was like, this is exactly where I saw that man and he's not here right now. And it was just- And it was a story of a man where we were going yes. too. Yes, it was That's a story crazy. of the, it was a story of a, the headless man that yes. was in the river. Yes. That those two kids were like, we're gonna go, over, we're gonna row over to the other or side of the river. was it this? No, that's where wanna, it was. I think it was the guy that was like this. Do you remember? Like that pointed to the two boys. Oh, yes. Yeah, I think yes. it was that one. That's what it was. You'll have to go on the tour to know what yeah. we're talking about. They're but. so, they're, he told us 
more and then there was another um, story that he told near a grave and when we watched back the video um, on the way home I was driving so I didn't watch it but <laughs> they did yeah. um, but you can see an orb and we don't we don't think it's like a reflection in my glasses or the lens or anything or any like water that. droplets from the rain because it, you could see like the orb like it go, moves. go next to him and then down to the grave. Yeah, it doesn't then, like, move in like succession with the right. with the lens. And then it zips away once he finishes telling the story. Yeah. So. Well, the, the creepy part about that, I remember that specifically because I literally got goosebumps. He said that it had happened on my birthday. Oh, yeah. That was when that happened. And I literally turned around and I was like, and the cameraman looked at me and I was like, oh my God. And they go, what? And I was like, this is so crazy, but that's like on my birthday, and I'm I'm completely cold and cold, <laughs> double cold now. It right. just it shook me. So you're clearly more um, in tune with the afterlife than I am, but of course on this particular tour, I was like, think warm thoughts, think, think about warm. the beach, think tropical <laughs> things, like, Bermuda, wish and that Jamaica. you had taken the hand warmers from the car and <laughs> actually put them in your pocket. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we were like, where are the hand warmers? In the car. Yes, I mean, it was a really great experience. Oh and it didn't God. feel like two hours, even though no. I was cold. It really didn't feel like two hours. No, not at all. So I know they do it all year round. And I, I know he said that they do um, downtown haunted tours yep. as well. So we might have to look into yeah, it. Yeah, I would definitely like to look into it. But it's yeah. such an unusual and interesting way to learn the city's history yeah. and just see how Things have evolved since Victorian times. Yes. Um, and then here's some of the stories. Like I had no idea Max and Irma's started in I know. Ohio. Yeah, and it's still. We just passed it. Look, I know. Oh my God! It was. Who knew? Not us. No. I mean, I had never heard of the place, but we just passed it, and then we heard about it, and I was yeah. like, no, no clue. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, the one other cool thing that I want to touch on is the dog statue oh my that's gosh. recognized as one of the greatest dog statues by the smithsonian or it, something yeah yeah and they talked about what did his tombstone say i don't know but the dog bit people yeah, all the time it said, in life oh it was like we'll never know why but he was always angry right. or something <laughs> we don't know what his problem, problem was, was or yeah something like that it i just thought cute. that having dogs it's just i that made me laugh <laughs> And but speaking yeah. of dogs, we should probably go let ours out because yeah, they're should. being very good um, and we got warm and they still got to go. So on that note, um, today we were in Greenlawn Cemetery in Columbus, Ohio, and uh, who knows where we're going to be next? Because we're everywhere in Ohio. And we're going to go get under all the blankets yes. now. Bye.